Congratulations to the Miami Heat for going to the finals for the first time since LeBron James has been there. Congratulations. Y'all deserved it. But we is not going to bypass the Celtics and what they have done. Think about Celtics fans, y'all hated on the Lakers for eight plus years because y'all had all these draft picks and y'all had the young talent. And we still made it to the finals earlier than y'all. He's better than you? Yes. And stacks more paper and gets more holes than you, nigga? Absolutely. Yes, that's right. And don't say LeBron went there because location and market. No, we had young talent and LeBron knew we could trade that young talent into Anthony Davis. But y'all don't want to give them no picks, no first round picks, no protected first, top 14, top lottery. Y'all want to keep these picks and try to build a young squad. Romeo Langford, looking looking kind of a bust right now. Y'all got Robert Williams, Grant Williams, who cares? Let's take a step back and see how legendary the Celtics truly are. Cause you know what I'm saying? It's always been a battle. Who's the better team? Who has a better legacy? Everybody knows Celtics has 17 rings. Lakers got 16, so they beat them. But one championship. Ronald Reagan was in office, the Reaganomics. So before 1984, it was Bill Russell in all them days. And it was, I'm not saying there was, there was nice people in Boston. They was racist. So I'm tired of hearing they're a legendary franchise when they have done nothing to warrant that right. Just with the fact that they won with Larry Bird and they got to the playoffs a couple times and they got to the finals and they got to beat LeBron a few times in the playoffs. Y'all glossed that 2018 team. Bro, we was missing Andrew Bynum and Trevor Ariza, two crucial parts of the playoffs before that, and we lost. Then when we got healthy, we beat y'all. But since then, y'all go game seven with every team y'all face. Game six, every team. Doc Rivers has a tendency to do that. Then when he left, oh, Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens is the best coach in the NBA. He gonna protect Greg Popovich as the best coach. What has Brad Stevens done? What has he done? You got Gordon Hayward missing the birth of his child to get crossed up by Tyler Hero. An actual child. And I don't want to hear this team is built for the future. We overachieve. Y'all been overachieving for five years now. Put the results in. See, Laker fans, we don't talk about overachieving. It's ring or bust. Ring or bust. That's it. That's all we care about. I don't care about no second round loss. I don't care about young talent getting better. I want rings. I want banners in the arena. Y'all been building the young squad since 2013. That doesn't make sense. First of all, who let Marcus Smart shoot like he Gilbert Arenas out here? I know he provides a lot on defense, a great defensive player, good playmaker. You know what I'm saying? He's very vital to that team. But nigga, stop shooting them shots. You was not Kyrie. You was not Curry. You not none of these. Why are you shooting these shots? And that's one of my problems. Marcus Smart is a vet on that team. He's He got drafted in 2014, y'all. Yes, he can take them shots because the leaders of the team are so young. Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown. We really can't say no to them shots, bro. You, you can't. Game, game, elimination game. You got Tatum looking like playoff P out here. Yes, he's young. Yes, I'm going to give him a pass. You know what I'm saying? He overachieved this season himself. But boy, you got to show up. They called you a top 10 player, superstar. You got to show up. And the fact that they were up in most of the games of this series and they choked the lead shows you that they're a young team. You can't win an NBA championship without at least some key veterans on your team. So that's what I'm perplexed when guys... Teams try to build this young core up that tries to have a good young core. It doesn't really work for real because you need leaders of age and experience, especially playoff experience, to 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 handle energy, handle frequencies of the team, to keep them grounded. Jason Tatum is a great player, has great playoff experience, but the nigga is only 22. Jalen Brown is only 23. Who's the best vet on the Celtics? Gordon Hayward? And the, and the vets they had in the past, Kyrie was a cancer to the locker room, per sources. I don't, think he, I don't think he was, but they said it was. Al Horford, very quiet, stoic guy. Him and Gordon Hayward are the same kind of energy level. Now look at the Lakers. LeBron James is the best veteran you can have, my guy. Dwight Howard, great veteran. JaVale McGee, Danny Green. All these guys have won something. Dwight Howard has led his team to the finals in 2009. Ray John Rondo, Avery Bradley. These guys have playoff success and have playoff experience. Celtics don't have that. 
they have the greatest starting five in the NBA. You know what I'm saying? From top to bottom, with everybody healthy, best starting five is that bench though. You shouldn't have damn paid Gordon Hayward $30 million to give you 12 points and six assists. I know he had an ankle injury, but I don't give a fuck. I don't. And then your players get injured. The guy who makes the most on your team is constantly injured. So you got to play guys who never play. You're playing Brian Wanamaker, Robert Williams, who's actually a decent player. Daniel Tice is y'all best big man. He's 6'9". Right, Celtics fans, y'all say y'all built for the future, but this is probably y'all only window. You know what I'm saying? Giannis is gone. He got out. I think Giannis will come back with a vengeance next year for whoever team. You got no Warriors. So if you actually get to the finals, you don't have to face the onslaught of Steph, Clay, Draymond, Andrew Wiggins. Eric Pats, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to face that. Also, home court advantage. You don't have to get the onslaught of them road fans. Yes, it's a disadvantage to y'all because Boston fans do be loud as hell in the arena, but the road games count. If you win one road game in the playoff, you're more likely to win the series. So I don't want to hear about the Celtics anymore until they actually have some results that can back it up. I don't care about no young core. I care about banners on the wall. Y'all have one banner in 12 years. That'll be all for this video, but make sure you like, subscribe, comment what you want to see. I'm out. Peace.